Hello, everybody. How's it hanging? <sighs> it's been a long journey. Forgot to heal them up. Eh, might as well do that while we're talking. We have been through a long journey, actually. Went through all Fire Red has to really offer, except for the Trainer Tower and doing some unknowns in the last episode. But honestly, not that big a loss. We have come a long way from just a little kid in Palatown with a Pichu. Let's take on the final area. Welcome to Cerulean Cave. This is the final challenge that this game has to offer. So we're going to make our way through all of its trials and tribulations and make our way up to Mewtwo. Or what it should be Mewtwo. Let's head left first. We don't have Rock Smash. You know what? It's the last episode. It doesn't really matter if someone has Rock Smash. This is the last time we're going to see these guys. Open. Yeah, sorry, Terry. I'm going to have to make you learn it. I guess we're getting rid of the, the signature. I like Heat Wave better, anyways. I feel like Lee somewhere just put down a newspaper, looked over at nothing, and just said, This motherfucker. <laughs> Would not doubt it. If he ever found out I deleted Blaze Kick for Rock Smash, he'd break my kneecaps. <laughs> this place is a giant fucking maze. We're just going to have to try and navigate. Because I have not been in here in years. Nope. We're not going anywhere this way. Yep, this way was complete bust. Let's try the right. Normally, what's in here is Ditto, and Chansey, and a bunch of other like high-level mon, like Rhydon and such, uh, such like that. But Ditto is very interesting, and there's been theories about this for decades now. That uh, the reason there are so many plentiful amounts of Ditto in this game, and especially their uh, counter rate actually goes up the deeper you get in the cave. And you guys have all probably heard this before, but for those who haven't, uh, nice little tidbit. Uh, it is said that me, uh, what's it called? Since Mewtwo is the clone of Mew, that Ditto are the rejected clones. Oh my god, there's something higher level than me in here. I'm insulted! <laughs> Fucking Machop broke through our level barrier. Wow. It's extra Pokeball in our pocket. But, uh... Oh my god, we are getting out-leveled. Oh, really? But, uh... It, that was my famous thing to say. Is, but, uh... To try and get back onto a, a subject. To get back to a, what I was saying... They think Ditto is the failed clone of Mew because they're the only two Pokemon that can naturally learn the uh, move, transform. They have very, very similar shinies. Their color is very similar. And it's Mew is supposed to be like a fetus almost in design. And it would make sense that something less formed than a fetus would be that gelatinous husk. Mm. 
You're not Mewtwo. What are you? Latias, huh? Well, it's another Psychic Pokemon. This is supposed to be Mewtwo. Normally, it would have Recover, Barriers, Psychic, and... I can't remember what the last one is. But this is obviously not Mewtwo, so... Meet Latias? A Dragon Psychic type. I honestly don't know what its moveset is at level 70. Was not expecting Charm. Was not expecting Charm. Four funsies. For the memes. And you're going to get lucky like the first three. <laughs> well, apparently she does indeed have recover, meaning this is going to be an endurance match. All right, now that you're at full HP, uh, for the memes, madam. I I had my I had a smile on my face. Not gonna lie. Oh shit! Ah, uh, fuck it. We went ahead and caught the other three by hand. Let's just end this, shall we? There it is. The last challenge. Mewtwo, in quotations. It can telepathically communicate with people. It changes its appearance using its down that reflects light. It also makes out with Ash Ketchum. <laughs> You're now... You're Serenity now. That's it. That's all there is to us. We use the Master Ball, because why not? We didn't use it for the entire playthrough. Let's get out of here, shall we? The final challenge has been met. We beat Pokemon Leaf Green. Randomized. It's been... It's been a hell of a journey, hasn't it? Who would have thought that this would have been as fun as it was? I... I love Pokemon. Like, um... I have a place to end this in mind, so I'm just going to keep talking until then. This is my favorite version of Kanto. It's a game that's very near and dear to my heart. And... <laughs> it's a place, uh, game very near and dear to my heart, because like I said, this was the first time I ever completed the Pokedex by myself, bar the ending of it, where I can't get... It. By not using that fucking button instead of start one last time, huh? But I, this is the closest I ever got to completing the Pokedex. I've never done it since because I just saw no point in it. Maybe one day. I almost decided to do it during Sword and Shield because honestly, it's not that hard and. Eh, it is what it is. But. This was so much fun to come back here and take this game in for all it's worth and take my time through it. Normally when I randomize it or do a Nuzlocke through it, I go really deep into it. Or I don't, like, not even, I, I go really shallow into it. Like I said, I usually just end this when I'm the champion. It's the first time in years I've done the Sevy Islands, and that was honestly a lot more fun than it, I gave it credit for, despite us just murdering everything in our path. But I'm glad we did this. I'm glad I came back for one last hurrah through the Kanto region. And there's the place where it all started. Back in Palatown one last time. Our starter Pokemon champ 
caught her as our little Pichu. Terry, who we met in Mount Moon. He's been with us for pretty much the whole game. Shalissa, who we met outside of uh, Mount Moon, got that from the Magikarp guy. This was our Magikarp. Cranky, who we met right outside of uh, Vermilion City, ended up becoming our last teammate. Or no, he wasn't our last teammate. Santiago, I believe, was. Met him to the right of... Uh, to the left of Lavender Town. In that little patch of grass barred off by cut trees. Espio, who also was found in Mount Moon. <laughs> like how I found two of the Hoenn starters in Mount Moon. And then last... And that's it. This is our team. We've had a complete team since we met up in uh, Celadon City, actually. We'd had hiccups. This hasn't been the smoothest recording session, and this hasn't been... Or, well, not session, but series. Like my mic busting up in the last episode. But I'm glad we're doing this. I want to go through as many of these games as possible because I love Pokemon. I've been playing it for 21 years now. I'm 25 years old, and the first game I ever played was Sonic 2, but the first one I ever owned was Pokemon Blue version, and I fell in love with the series because it's what all my cousins and my friends were playing, and they grew out of it and they grew older, but me, I'm still here. It helped me through depression help me just find some of the greatest friends I've ever had. Hell, me and Lee are best friends because one day he heard us ripping on someone we knew for having the favorite Pokemon of Waylord, and he just yelled across the room, Man, fuck Waylord! And just went in on someone he didn't even know for liking Waylord. <laughs> and I... I just, I don't think I'd be who I am without this series. I know now in 2020 and even 2019 when Sword and Shield was released, this series hasn't been in the best place in a while. And I really hope it has a return to form where people love it as much as we used to. Because even I have to admit, I'm not very happy where, with where it is right now, but... I'll never be tired of these games. This is probably like my 38 or 30 f f something odd fucking playthrough of these games. And I'm still finding enjoyment out of them. The excitement that maybe a shiny will appear. The absolute terror when doing a Nuzlocke and you hear a crit chance noise happen. Not having enough healing potions during a really clutch gym battle. I love this game. But I think it's time we take my love here. And we let her rest. Send her home to mom. One last time. Well, goodbye, everybody. Next time we meet in a Pokemon universe, I'll be meeting you from the back of a moving truck. I'll see you guys then.